Everyone, welcome to the show. So the Justice Department announced that they're investigating the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank, which I shared with all of you yesterday. Um, let's hope they don't do a whitewash of how this all went down. And if you guys watched the show from yesterday, you also know that I shared how Dodd-Frank came to pass, the Dodd-Frank Act that was following the 2008 financial crisis. And as I mentioned Although the deregulation was largely pushed by Republicans and many Dodd-Frank safety mechanisms were rolled back under the Trump administration, this was a bipartisan failure. Well, now it's been revealed that the Democratic congressman who initiated this act, Barney Frank, you know, the Frank in Dodd-Frank, <laughs> well, he personally pushed for that deregulation after he left office. Frank literally co-sponsored and helped to draft that legislation. But then he left Congress and he became a board member for Signature Bank, the other bank that was shut down last weekend. And since 2015, Frank has made over $2.4 million sitting on that board. Can you imagine making that kind of money over a less than 10 year period of time for sitting on a board, being a board member? That is insane. And he has worked during that time to undo some of the very same guardrails that he put in place to prevent another banking collapse. This is the quintessential example of the rot within our government on both sides of the aisle. As I said yesterday, money is the root of all evil in politics. These lawmakers will say and do just about anything to line their pockets and their bank accounts. They don't give a damn who they hurt. They don't care how much damage they do to the country, to the American people, or even the planet. As long as that cold, hard cash is flowing into their greedy little hands, they don't care. We need to have rules in this country that after working in the government, you can't go to work for, sit on the board of, or work as a lobbyist for any company within any industry that's regulated by the government or whose interests could potentially clash with the interests of the American people. And you know what we would end up with? We would end up with actual true public servants, not these self-servants. Because the only people who would run for office if we had rules like that, the only people who would go to work for the government would be people who actually give a damn, people who actually want to serve and not take. We would finally see a return to a government of the people, by the people, for the people. Not this corporate shill, self-serving bullshit that we have now. So, yeah, when I say both sides of the aisle and, you know, some MSNBC libs get all upset, I'm sorry. You know, I'm not the drone you're looking for. <laughs> you need to go elsewhere if you're looking for someone who's just going to lie and tell you what you want to hear and, and play the party line. I'm going to tell the truth. I don't care who it hurts. I don't care who it upsets. I don't care who it makes look bad. I'm not making them look bad. They're making themselves look bad. I'm just highlighting it. I'm just calling it out. So anyway, guys. I will let you know if I hear any more. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please donate. If you can become a monthly supporter, it truly, sincerely helps to keep the show going and on the air. And I greatly appreciate all of you so much for everything you do. Liking, commenting, sharing, <laughs> all of it really helps. So love you all. Take care and I'll talk with you soon.